hello today is the 13th of november <laughs> never gonna get the date thing ever um yeah so welcome uh these are becoming a little bit more frequent and we're in the back of my mind but still house moving disaster stuff everywhere um yeah so let's talk about dieting um Right, so I had a couple good days, and now today I've had a terrible day. I have not done my walking. I ate two packs of Pop-Tarts, for one for breakfast and one at lunch, which were basically a total of 784 calories. And I then had later, because everything was kind of throughout the day, um, a hot dog roll with turkey on it and some Pringles. So I think... At this point, I've had like 1,200 calories, most of which are probably fat and carbohydrates. My husband's telling me, keep warm, wrap up if you venture outside. Perhaps I have a warm hat to knit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll knit a hat right now. I'm knitting for other people right now. Um, so it's very, very cold here, and the reason he's saying that is because it's gone cold and it's supposed to snow. And I know everybody in the Northeast has just had snow, and... I'm looking forward to a little bit of it for here and somebody's ringing my door. Let me pause and I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. It was our gas and electricity provider wanting to know about whether or not we wanted to install a smart meter. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't use enough gas and electricity every month to make a bill greater than 32 pounds a month. So. Yeah, I'm doing my bit for the environment. So everything gets shut off during the day and blah, 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 blah. But that's not what we were talking about. We were talking about my sheer and utter naughtiness. And I smile, but <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God, why did you do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> I think I did that because, oh, I don't want to get all mental healthy. I just think I did it because my head hurt. I think I need like um oh what do you call those days? Like where you just sit in warm fuzzy slippers and your pajamas and the robe and watch breakfast at Tiffany's days. Yeah. No, there's no excuse. I just lost my head. Not good. I probably blew everything I'd done this week. I still haven't gotten on the scales. Um, I know, shame on me, but I'm scared to death to get on the scales. And I probably should get on the scales because that would scare me even more. And I might be less um, inclined to have days like today. But maybe tomorrow morning. I know I got to do it. I know you're screaming. You got to do it. You got to get on. Just get on. <sighs> maybe tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, no happy mile walked this morning. No going down and getting on my treadmill this morning. And yeah, pretty much my day spent spent in here sewing, doing things, and putting things in crock pot for dinner tonight because I don't know lately, making dinner at night is becoming less and less joyful for me, which it usually is because I like cooking for Ian, but it's becoming more and more like work and I don't know why, but it is. So I thought, no, you know what? I'll put the crock pot together this morning. So I put two very small legs of lamb in the crock pot with carrots and potatoes and onions. And I turned it on at noon and I've just shut it off, but I'll turn it on again about, oh, I don't know, 5 o'clock or so to warm things up. But I think I'll probably just eat some carrots out of there tonight, given what I did this afternoon. Um, another thing that I do in the wintertime, which is probably not the best thing for my diet, and I know there's healthy things that I can do in this area, but... I'm not submitting Ian or subjecting Ian to it. I'm just not subjecting him to this. So I made him some blueberry muffins and we went to the shop, the grocery store last night 
and he got some of these German Christmas cookies that he likes very much and they were here. I had one of them last night but the caloric value was really low. It, the carbs were pretty high but the caloric value was pretty low. And um, yeah. I didn't feel too guilty about that though. I won't lie. I didn't basically because I worked my rear end off yesterday. Well, I wish I'd worked my rear end off, but you know what I mean. Uh, and figuratively speaking. And um, so, yeah, so I just need to get myself back on track. And I know this is going to happen, but it's so fracking depressing. And Thanksgiving's coming. I have. Uh, I have my in-laws and my sister-in-law coming and my brother-in-law coming. My brother-in-law doesn't eat turkey, so I'm going to have to do a very small, small... Either I'm going to get a piece of prime rib and do that for him, or um, get a very... And I mean a very small, like a pound roast beef and do that for him. I called my mother-in-law last night to ask her if um, he ate ham because that would have been much easier for me to do because I could have just done that in my small crock pot, not the big one that's running downstairs, but my small one. And she had no idea and didn't want to speak to it. So, yeah. Say lovey. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm not sure. I, I'm not even going to repeat what Ian said about the fact that he won't eat turkey and that. I have to go to the trouble of making something different because, yeah, you know, I don't mind. I don't. It, I just would like it to be something that was a bit easier for me to do. Um, so, yeah, so I've got all that cooking coming up in that day. Um, I do have a plan, though, for not continually eating for the next, you know, week after, which is this. I've got great big Tupperware pans, right? And I am sending two separate ones home, one for my mother and father-in-law and one for my sister and brother-in-law. And those are going home with them. So the preponderance of the leftovers with a bit of turkey and stuffing and things left over for Ian to have are all going to go out of this house. Um, so that won't be here tempting. And that includes pies and cheesecake and pecan pie, pumpkin pie, what else? 24 hour salad. Just everything, you know, all the desserty stuff's gone. Everything's gonna go. Sorry, I just washed my hair. It looks like freaking terrible. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Check that out, Kim. Okay, first, check out my nasty elbow. That's from knitting and not moving this arm and leaving it set on the sofa. But you see that? You see that? I got boo boos. Check them out. Check them out. Look at that. That's bad, isn't it? This woman that lived in this house must have been a seamstress or something. And like I was down on the floor in my bedroom, which I will show you and your man later. And that sounded weird. I'm, t I'm talking about sanding the floor, right? And because we're going to pull all the carpet up. But I got a little sander to do around the edges before we get the big, rent the big sander to do the floor. Anyways, when we came here, there were... Um, hang on, babe. <clears throat> there were like sewing pins everywhere, like everywhere in this house. Mine stay in that tomato, but there were sewing pins in the carpet up here on the floors, bare floors up here. They were uh, in our bedroom. They were in the bathroom. They were in the hallway. They were downstairs in the living room pins everywhere so i'm down on the floor and i'm doing that floor right and i got i'm le leaning on my arm because i'm using my other one you know to move that you know those little sanders that look like the bottom of an iron yeah that's what i got and i'm shoving needles that i haven't found yet which i thought i had found all of them and i'm not talking like 10 i am talking dozens of these needles everywhere in the house i don't know if she was a seamstress or she just did voodoo <laughs> What? Or it was some kind of terrible, you know, scheme to make sure no one bought her house after she died or something. I don't know. Anyway, I kept sticking them into my arms and picking them up. Oh, I know I don't have the cleanest, most lady like mouth, but it was like multiply what you normally hear from me by about 2000. And I'm ashamed to say, because I never say it, but I actually said the C word. 
I felt so bad, but I was so, I was in so much pain. I've gotten them in my wrist, under my fingernails. Anyway, it's bad. But that was my bit of exercise for today because I really basically sat there all day. A little zip. Um, so yeah, that's the adventure there. Um, I won't take a picture this time. I will take a picture next time. Just know that we've torn two and a half walls of the paper off. And there's crappy looking curtains in there. There's still the curtains in there that were in there when we bought the house. Because I don't really want to do the curtains. I've got, okay, to back up. The room looks like crap. We're still living of our suitcases which are stood up. I've put a little chest of drawers that was still here when we got here and have very creatively packed my stuff and put it in. But it looks like crap so don't judge me. Don't judge our house because we're trying to get the upstairs done. Um, but yeah. So where was I going with that? And I can't remember where I was going with it because I stopped and went back and I have no memory and I'm hyper. Okay, give me one second just to think back to what I was, where I was going with that whole thing. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, God. It must just be me. I must be the only person in the world that does that. If I have to interrupt the thought, I can never remember what I was, where the flow was <laughs> when I tried to go back to it. So, sorry. It's bad. Anyway, I should just replay this and then go make a second movie. <laughs> and go, yeah, that's where I was going with that train of thought. Or maybe use a piece of scrap paper and write it down. Yeah. Writing. Writing is good. Hang on. Oh, this is all stuff and nonsense. Sorry. All right. So I did some sewing for someone's Christmas box today. Yes, I did. I'm going to do my best to get some other kind of craft done before I have to put that flipping thing in the post. Also, I want to say to you, Christmas box girl, don't make it too heavy because it's going to cost a fucking fortune to ship it. America is terrible. My mom sent me two great big picture frames that she did. Hang on. I'll go get one show it to you. Hello, I'm back. So, in 1972-ish, I guess. I don't know if mom ever put anything on the back of this. She didn't. But she did. Hang on, i got to turn it so you can... But she pressed flowers. Now, I'm trying to show you which ones. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Where are you? This one, whoops, sorry, sorry. You know, all the ones that are prominent in the front, my mom pressed. And unfortunately, this frame is starting to get ick on it. On the inside glass so I might have to take some out and give it a clean but these frames this frame came sorry they came from Poland with my great-grandmother and my mom used them they weigh a metric ton and I mean a metric ton but my mom I always loved these and my before my mom died I don't know, maybe three or four years before my mom died. I had sent her a message and said, oh, Mom, I can't find a pie pan over here. Literally, you can't find a regular American Echo Ware pie pan over here. And could you please send me some pie pans? And of course she said, sure. So they went to the shop and they got me a few different sizes. And they said, oh, we sent it, but God damn, it costs a lot of money to send stuff over there. And I thought, well, it was only aluminum pie pan. So I'm thinking, where did, did you use UPS overnight or what? And I didn't say anything. And then these showed up with them. 
there's two of these. They're not exactly alike. They're two different flower arrangements, but she sent these. Now I would say this alone probably weighs four pounds. It's very, very heavy. So you've got eight pounds worth of picture frames and about 14 ounces of body pans. And it cost mom $160 at the time. So yeah, so be careful, be careful. Um, so yeah, so I have been sewing today. I haven't, I put a blank square in my blanket today. Um, I haven't done any cross stitch yet. I don't know. I haven't really lost my mojo. I just, it's time. And what's the quickest, easiest thing to pick up? I have not sewn any of my quilt strips together and I'm supposed to be doing blocks for the National Quilters, the U.S. National Quilters uh, Quilt Along and I haven't done any of them. I am saving all of the blocks because I will be able to do it. I don't know, Kim, if you're doing that or not or if you're you doing the stitch along with them. I think it's going to be gorgeous. I just, right now, I've got some moda here that I thought I would use, but it was... um. It was, they were jelly roll, so I can't use it. I love Moda fabrics, but oh my God, they're so expensive. It's unreal. Then I don't have, I don't have a color set here that I would want to make a quilt out of right now. And I don't think that they were particularly, or the designer was particularly good um, in laying out how much of each fabric that you would need other Rather, they said, oh, you know, this this one's going to take, you know, this much of this color, this light purple with a small pet print and da 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 So you don't really know. And, and I am on their Facebook, and some of these squares, these blocks are beautiful. I mean, these women, I'm sort of glad that I'm not doing it with them because I'm not like you. I'm not a great quilter. I made a quilt for my grandson, which I sent off to Missouri Star Quilt Company to be quilted, and that came out okay. Um, it was a hexagon quilt, and it was all done in Halloween fabrics because that's what Byron likes. Um, <coughs> I've got two on the go right now. One is a Dresden, and the other one is an Irish chain. One is for... I'm not sure. The Dresden, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the Dresden. Because to be honest with you, I really want to be cheeky and keep it for myself. I really do. Because it's so pretty and it's the colors of our that our bedroom are going to be. But the Irish chain is for my grandson Grayson. So, yeah. Oh, the Irish chain quilt is like nautical fabrics. But I was really, really stupid, and I didn't wash the fabric beforehand, and I did like a tester thinking, um, oh, it's got red in it. Sure enough, guess what happened? Like, oh. So I think what I'm going to do is put those color catch things in there. When I get the top done, I will wash the top. And as, as a whole piece, please tell me if it's really going to muck up, because it's kind of too late. I kind of um, got like one whole strip put together so far, so and it's not going to be very big for because it's for a cot or a crib. So anyway, there was some. Oh my God, Jenny, why didn't you wash that farking fabric <laughs> before you did that? <laughs> but yeah, and it's way up there, Kimmer's. Where I'd show it to you. It's in that box there. You can't see it, but right there, honey. Um, I'll try to get it down after. I actually had to get Ian to get some stuff down for me. It's downstairs, but I'll show you some yarn that came because I have to do some testing. Um, so yeah, so quilting, I haven't been able to do that either. Um, I'm not even being funny, Babs, but the knitting is just like... It's just something that I can pick up and put five rows on and then set back down and go back to work. You know what I mean? Like if I stop 
take a break from doing house stuff to have a cup of tea or something. It's just something I can do in the interim to get something done. And frankly, for the last two days, all I've done is put blocks in my, uh, that miter square blanket. That's all I've done. So, yeah. Yeah. So what came? So there is a pattern and I will, I will put a picture in here. I will put a picture in here. Where am I going to put it? I am going to put it here, over here. Here, here. Never gonna get that right. I never get that right. Anyway, it is a quilt. And I'm only thinking of making it, I think I said last time. And there's one of two colors that I will make this quilt out of. Because it's very retro, 1935 to maybe 1949. So I would either make it out of this sort of, I think it's called parchment, to be honest with you, camera. What's it called, baby? Yes, it's called parchment. Here, let's put it in front of my face a little. There you go. So it's that, and that's pretty true to color. Or, this one's called seafoam. There we go. And that is basically seafoam green. So those old bathrooms, what do you, what do you call them? You know, those old, the old bathrooms, what had the tiles and they were seafoam green. That's this color. So it's showing up more blue than green, maybe. But it is, it is seafoam green. So it's gonna be one of those two colors. Now, problem is, is I think there's 250 blocks in this quilt that will go over. It's supposed to be like a bed, bed shred. And it will go over like a full size queen size bed. 250 blocks, which means, guess what? I need basically to make one. I need 75% of this to make one square. Yeah, so guess how many skeins that means? Roughly, let me do a 75%. So I need roughly about 160 60 skeins of this. That's like a lot of money. So anyways, I'm gonna try, see what I can do. They sell this by cones, which makes it a lot less expensive. But first I wanna see if I will stick to it. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Next year, I said that I was gonna do autumn sewing and um, cross stitch for two years, which I intend to do with my cross stitch. But next year, I'm not knitting socks, hats, mittens, sweaters, nothing. I, next year's blanket year. I'm going to get that snowflake blanket done. Hold me to this, by the way. I'm going to get that snowflake blanket done. I'm going to see about this. If this doesn't work, then you'll probably be receiving <laughs> like a hot mat. <laughs> in the mail. A little envelope with a screenshot hot mat with a note that says, hi, hot mat. Um, yeah, I got to get that underscore blanket done. It's driving me mad. And I really, 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 really need to get that snowflake blanket done. Having said that, Knit Picks was having a sale and a proper sale. So I got some Knit Picks uh, Capretta in this wine color. It's darker than it's showing up here. Way darker than it's showing up. And don't look at my fingernails because they're all bust because my basement's a pan. But. but this is Merino and Cashmere and Nylon. So it's 80% Merino, 10% Cashmere. 10% nylon and it's so soft. So I got two skeins of that, which total uh, 460 yards. <sighs> Don't know. Probably fingerless mitts. Probably. Because how soft would those be? And then for my. Um, 
And then for my loom, this was going, this wasn't going to be available anymore. It's Stroll Gradient. It's called Candy Necklace. Sorry. There we go. Candy Necklace. And this is what it looks like. What do you think? So I want to put this on my loom and do like a pattern scarf. What do you reckon? Yellow submarine, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't know. It'd be nice, I think. Because I can't think of anything else to do with it, to be honest. But yeah. So got that. I've got a pair of socks on my needles, but they're for somebody. And they're not up here, so not showing them. And that's about it. That's about it. Sorry, I think I got an eyelash in my eye. And I don't have any makeup on, so I'm really sorry, but I'm really tired. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all that's going on. Um, sorry, I think I really do have an eyelash in my eye. It hurts. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, yeah, very cold here. Don't know what's going on over there. I know that New York got some snow and Ohio got some snow, but I'm not sure if Pennsylvania got any. I'm sure you did because Pennsylvania's kind of a snowy state. But yeah, so I am going to get going. It's 3.22 p.m. now. I'm going to get this loaded to Camtasia, get it edited. Well, I'm not going to really edit it. I'm just going to drop it in and say hello. And I will get this loaded and I will jet you an email to let you know that it's been loaded. Okie dokie. All right. Okay. Thanks for the address. I love you. To my fur baby Zog. And tell your man I said hi. And I will talk to you later. Okay.